The Story of the Blue Kachina and the Red Kachina by Chief Dan Evenhaman, a Hopi traditional caretaker. It was told to me at first the Blue Kachina would start to be seen at the dances and would make his appearance known through the plaza during the night dance. This event would tell us the end times are very near. Then the Blue Star Kachina would physically appear in our heavens, which would mean we are in the end times. In the final days, we will look up in the heavens and we will witness the return of the two brothers who helped create the world in the birthing time. Pogan Hoya is the guardian of the North Pole and his brother Polangai Hoya is the guardian of the South Pole. In the final days, the Blue Kachina will come to be with his nephew and they will return the earth to its natural rotation, which is counterclockwise. This fact is evident in the many petroglyphs that speak of the zodiac and within the Mayan and the Egyptian pyramids. The rotation of the earth has been manipulated by not so benevolent star beings. The twins will be seen in the northwestern skies. They will come and visit to see who still remember the original teachings, flying in their kotovats or flying shields. They will bring many of their star family with them in the final days. The return of the blue star Gachina, who is also known as Nangon Soro, will be the alarm clock that will tell us of the new day, a new way of life, a new world that is coming. This is where the changes will begin. They will start as fires that burn within us and we will burn up with desires and conflict if we do not remember the original teachings and return to the peaceful way of life. Not far behind the twins will come the purifier, the red star Kachina, who will bring the days of purification. On this day, the earth, her creatures, and all life as we know will change forever. There will be messengers that will perceive this coming of the purifier. It will leave messages to those on earth who remember the old ways. The messages will be found written in the living stone, through the sacred grain, and even the waters from the purifier will issue forth a great red light, and all things will change in its manner and being. Every living thing will be offered an opportunity to change. From the smallest to the largest thing, those who return to the ways given to us by the original teachings and live a natural way of life will not be touched by the coming of the purifier. They will survive and build the new world. Only in the ancient teachings will the ability to understand the message be found. It's important to understand that these messages will be found upon every living thing, even in our bodies. Even within a drop of blood, all life forms will receive this message from the twins. Those that fly, the plants, even the rabbit. The appearance of the twins begins a period of seven years, which will be our final opportunity to change our ways. Everything we experience is all a matter of choice. Many will appear to have lost their souls in these final days. So intense will the nature of changes be that those who are weak in spiritual awareness will go insane. For we are nothing without spirit. They will disappear. For they are just hollow vessels for anything to use. Life will be so bad in the cities that many will choose to leave this plane, some in whole groups. Only those who return to the valleys of the old ways will be able to find peace of mind, 
for in the earth we shall find relief from the madness that will be all around us. Will be a very hard time for women with children, for they will be shunned, and many of the children of these times will be unnatural, some being of the stars, some of the past worlds. Some will even be created by man in an unnatural manner and will be soulless. Many of the people in this time will be empty in spirit. They will have some barco, no life force in their eyes. As we get close to the time of the arrival of the purifier, there will be those who will walk as ghosts in the cities. Through cannons they would have constructed in their man-made mountains. Those that walk through these places will be very heavy in their walk. It will appear almost painful as they take each step, for they would be disconnected from the spirit and the earth. After the arrival of the twins, they will begin to vanish before our eyes like so much smoke. They will have great deformities both in the mind and upon their bodies. There will be those who walk in the body that are not of this reality. For many of the gateways that once protected us will be open. There will be much confusion. Confusion between sexes and children and their elders. Life will get very perverted. There will be little self-order in these times. Many will ask for the mountains themselves to fall upon them just to end the misery. Still others will appear as if untouched by what is occurring. The ones who remember the original teachings and have reconnected their hearts and spirit. Those who remember who their mother and father is. The Bahanana, who have left to live in the mountains and the forest. When the purifier comes, we will see him first as a small red star, which will come very close and sit in our heavens, watching us. Watching us to see how well we have remembered the sacred teachings. The purifier will show us many miraculous signs in our heavens. In this way, we will know Creator is not a dream. Even those who do not feel their connection to the Spirit will see the face of the Creator across the sky. Things unseen will be felt very strongly. Many things will begin to occur that will not make sense, for reality will reach back in and out of the dream state. There will be many doorways to the lower world that will be open at this time. Things long forgotten will come back to remind us of our past creations. All the big kings will want to be present for this day when time ends. And we will enter the forever cycle of the fifth world. We will receive many warnings allowing us to change our ways from below the earth as well as above. Then one morning in the moment, we will awaken to the red dawn. The sky will be the color of blood. Many things will then begin to happen that right now we are not sure of their exact nature, for much of reality will not be as it is now. There will be many strange beasts upon the earth in those days, some from the past and some we have never seen. The nature of mankind will appear strange in these times when we walk between worlds. And we will house many spirits, even within our bodies. After a time, we will again walk with our brothers from the stars and rebuild this earth, but not until the purifier has left his mark upon the universe. No living thing will go untouched here or in the heavens. The way through this time, it is said, is to be found in our hearts.
and reuniting with the spiritual self, getting soon and returning to living with and upon the earth and in harmony with her creatures, remembering that we are the caretakers, the fire keepers, the spirit, our relatives from the stars are coming home to see how well we have fared on our journey.